The getting started content is important because you want the student to know what they need to do as soon as they enter the course for the first time. Uh, what you don't want to have happen is a student who feels lost or they feel confused by you know what they're supposed to do when they first enter the course. So it's always important um, for their first impression to be um, clear and to be, uh, I guess, specific as far as what they need to do next uh, to start to get into the content of the course. So what we've um, implemented at MCC is uh, a recommendation to have them uh, have an intro video and also some quick, easy steps underneath that video. So first thing they see is a face, they hear a voice, they are instructed and kind of welcomed uh, to the course. And then that's followed by, here's some easy next steps to get you started. So again, for us at MCC, it's part of a template that we're working on where students um, can have a similar experience from course to course. So they also know what to expect you know, across courses. And again, that's, I click on the course for the first time, I have a quick message from my instructor, and then some next steps on what to do in the course. A potential pitfall for a welcome um, and getting started section, I guess it could be overcomplicated. Um, that would be, I guess that would defeat the purpose. Um, but it, it's hard, I think if you're really, if your intent is to create kind of an easy welcome um, and an easy way for students to, to kind of get into the course, um, uh, as long as you keep it simple, I think you're gonna be okay.